welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. Or if it's your first time checking out one of my videos, then welcome. And please do go ahead and do me the honour of hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. Now, in this video, we're going to be having a look at one of my favourite beetle species uh, that I keep. We're going to have a look at the green jewel beetle. So, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the green jewel beetle or Curricula africana africana. And it's important to know the scientific name as, like with many species, there's a number of these in captivity. But some of them have been hybridized a little bit. So I'm, I hope that these are pure africana africana, but they may not be. There's a similar look on the Cameroonica. And sometimes identifying species is not as simple as just looking at them and seeing their colours or anything, sometimes you actually have to dissect them and even look at genitalia of beetles to actually get a specific species. So to me these are definitely Africana, Africana, but often they are sold just as Africana, just to be on the safe side. Now as their scientific name suggests, these come or originate from Africa, but they have been kept bred now for many years and these are actually pretty simple to keep and breed. And they make a great alternative to the common sun beetle, Pachnoda marginata peregrina. So if you're looking for your first beetle species, in terms of fruit beetles, these are a great one to go for. In terms of care, you just need a nice deep leaf litter substrate primarily. So rotten leaves, mainly oak and beech, are sort of, we tend to say are the best. Some rotten wood in there, again from oak or beech. You can also make some things like shiitake wood blocks to create a nice substrate mat for the larvae, the grubs, to eat. And that's what they primarily feed on. Purchase yourself some grubs. Make sure you've got, like I say, a nice deep substrate, so a good sort of six, seven inches plus. And you'll get beetles in no time. Now, depending on what size grubs you get, um, Elfreeds are the larger size. So they won't take too long before they pupate into the adult beetles. And then you get nice bright things like this. Alternatively, uh, to buying grubs, you can buy um, occasionally adult beetles. So they do come up available every so often. Um, so places like the insect farm um, or supply shop, they often have these guys uh, available. Now buying adult beetles, if you're going to do that, they do normally come in pairs or even sometimes trios. But do be aware that adult beetles do not live very long so you're talking around about six months or so but that also depends on when they emerge so i always advise buying grubs but the other beetles are very simple to care for like most fruit beetles they'll eat various soft fruits the banana is a favorite so apple um some citrus so tangerines are great and also beetle jellies as you can see in this one are a fan favorite too Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that look at the green jewel beetle and hopefully you'll agree with me that as always they are a stunning species. And they're one of my favourite beetle species that I currently keep. And if you do keep beetles and looking for another species, you can't go far wrong with these guys. Or if you're looking into getting into beetles and perhaps some beetles don't quite hit for you, do check out the green jewels. They are fantastic, they are pretty simple, um, pretty much the same care as regular sun beetles. And they're lovely, a bit smaller, bright metallic green beetles. Can't go wrong. So if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. Also put some comments down below. Do you keep beetles? Are you looking into getting into uh, fruit beetles or other beetles? And if you haven't yet, please do hit that subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. But I'll see you guys next Sunday for my next video. Goodbye.